Dr. Lena Maxwell is a Democratic strategist and contributor to uh, what, Ebony.com. Good to have you here. Mike Gallagher is a syndicated radio host, Fox News contributor. You know him well. Good to see both of Hi, you. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Hello. Good. So, Mike, the critics came out, the Republicans are saying, wait a minute. Before you got the vote, you said no federal funding to any clinics or health care facilities that provide abortion. And then afterwards, you even assured that it wouldn't happen. But it's bigger than the 375 number. 375,000 number we raise, 105 groups get a total of $67 million in these navigator funds to sign people up, including Planned Parenthood. Right. Are they overreacting? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I mean, I always try to anticipate what, what my friends on the left will possibly say to try to defend this egregious uh, uh, about face. But Megan you know, pegged it. Megan sat there and said, what's going to prevent President Obama, who is a fiercely pro-choice guy, to a pro-abortion president to turn around and change it. This is exactly what's happened. Everybody knows Planned Parenthood is one of the largest pro abortion providers on the planet. And now, even if it's a dime of, of, of exchange money, of our money going to Planned Parenthood, he completely broke his promise. And once more, we're seeing this monstrosity called Obamacare come apart at the seams. I mean, it's, it's almost comical were it, were it not for the seriousness of talking about the lives of unborn babies. There is at least transparency that it's happened. Yeah, but thankfully. Zerlina said it's not happening. No, I'm saying that there's a thing called the Hyde Amendment. We all know what that is. That doesn't allow the funding that is going to Planned Parenthood to be used for their abortion services. So the money going to Planned Parenthood in this particular case is to uh, make sure that people are informed about the services that are provided under Obamacare, like mammograms, annual exams, birth control, things that people need, preventative health care services that women need. One in five women go to Planned Parenthood. And it's not for abortions. That's only 3% of the things that they offer, and no federal money goes to that. So who's going to who, keep track of that? Who's going to monitor They that? audit. Who very, audits it? The government audits. Oh, Obama's, Obama's government does. Well, that's the yes. problem. Exactly. And we've, and we've looked to the federal government to be able to do that for all sorts of different well, things in the past. I don't understand. But that's the you problem. You know, part of it is that th there's speculation that Planned Parenthood is supposedly using federal money for abortions, but nobody's been able to actually well, sir, show me, evidence let of Let me ask you this. If you're insistent that the money that's going, big money, taxpayer money mm -hmm. to Planned Parenthood and you're so sure that it won't be used for abortions then why doesn't it say you get it but you must agree that it doesn't go there is no provision and other than the oversight you mentioned which the American people we report they can decide if they could rely on the fact that it'll be monitored <laughs> why not put in a specific provision as the president promised to reassure Americans that well, are not in favor of abortion. Well, like I said, the Hyde Amendment is the law, right? So if they did use the federal money to go to abortions, that would they would be breaking the law. But that, that is already on the books. Zerlina, They're not using money for abortions. They're goodness. using money to make sure that low-income women are able to get preventative health care. One in five women use Planned Parenthood we heard that. to been, see if they have breast cancer, this to see if they have cervical cancer. This These are important things. This administration has has disdain for the rule of law. We've that seen not, this. Oh, it's not? not. Well, let's you go back. Can't speculate. You I'm not facts. Zerlina. I'm yeah. not. I'm not speculating. I'm going. Excuse me. I'm going back a week to when President Obama decided to huddle behind closed doors and exempt members of Congress and their staffs from the additional costs of Obamacare, which was a violate. That's that illegal. That was a poison put pill put in the that, bill that, on purpose. That, that, is that was a, never supposed he, to be the But he's broken. He doesn't have. He does not have regard for the rule. Now, the rule of law. Now, Zerlina, with all due respect, you're asking Americans to trust the Obama administration. You just admitted. No, I'm asking, we're asking Americans to trust that your, the process of auditing works. Me, which well, Mike, been, before we even get to the audit stage, what about years? this whole navigator money situation of to course. sign people up? That's exactly. Well, and even the idea of, of as Zerlina what's the oversight it, when you're talking sixty-seven million dollars in just these states right. that are getting money, but including when, Planned but Parenthood. But when Zerlina tries to parse the the advice that Planned Parenthood is going to give to women, do you think Planned Parenthood isn't going to advise women that the that abortion is an option on the it table? It is an option. A constitutionally well, allowed option. It's not an option. You can be against it, but it is still the but law. But don't ask land. me to pay for it. Don't you know ask what? I'm not asking you to pay for well, it. Hyde Amendment, Hyde Amendment, Hyde Amendment. Uh, you Obama, cannot just say it is I, you being you used can, to... I'll tell you what, I'll make you both a deal. You expect the Obama administration to monitor I'll itself. I'll make you both a deal. we got to leave it there for today, <laughs> but I think we should come back and see how this actually plays out, sure. because even if the lights stay on and the staff stays on, <laughs> we won't be in the room to see exactly no, where that exactly money right. goes. Zerlina got a little feisty today. I like that. That's good. I got you a little fired All right, all right. Save it for later. <laughs> go, go back to the green room. Okay. But great discussion. Thanks, Thanks so Jamie. much. Greg? We need a